Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful daily chess game of Paul Morphy. And in this chess game, Paul Morphy is playing with the black pieces. And his opponent is Thomas Wilson Barnes. And this game was played in 1858 in London. And Thomas Wilson Barnes starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3. And then d6, Paul Morphy is playing the Philidor's defense, d4, f5, d takes on e5, f takes on e4, attacking the knight, but then knight to g5, d5 and e6, threatening to play knight to f7, bishop to c5, Paul Morphy is allowing Thomas Wilson Barnes to play knight to f7. And we have knight to f7 by Wilson Barnes, forking the queen and the rook. Paul Morphy played queen to f6, threatening checkmate. Bishop to e3, defending with the bishop. d4. Bishop to g5, attacking the queen. Queen to f5. And then Thomas Wilson Barnes is winning the exchange, knight takes on h8, Paul Morphy captures the bishop, queen takes on g5, bishop to c4, knight to c6, knight to f7, attacking the queen, but Paul Morphy captures the pawn, queen takes on g2, attacking the rook, rook to f1, knight to f6, f3, knight to b4, Knight to a3. And in this position, Paul Morphy played a very beautiful move. Well, he played bishop takes on e6, sacrificing the bishop. And Thomas Wilson Barnes captures the bishop. Bishop takes on e6. And can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? Paul Morphy played a brilliant move. Paul Morphy played knight to d3, sacrificing the knight, and what a move. Thomas Wilson Barnes captures the knight with the queen, desperately. Queen takes on d3. And if pawn takes knight, then bishop to b4, check, and how to defend. The only logical defense is with the queen, queen to d2. And then queen takes queen, and that's checkmate. So that's why, after knight to d3, Thomas Wilson Barnes captures the knight with the queen, and then, of course, Paul Morphy captures the queen with the pawn. E takes on d3, and Wilson Barnes needs to resign. But he didn't resign, and he played castling. But then, Paul Morphy captures the knight with the bishop. Bishop takes on a3. And after this move, Thomas Wilson Barnes played a pathetic move. He played bishop to b3. Once again, he played a very desperate move against Paul Morphy. Well, of course, if pawn takes bishop, then queen to c2. Queen takes on c2 and that's checkmate. So we have bishop to b3. And then d2 by Paul Morphy, that's check. King to b1, bishop to c5, saving the bishop. Knight to e5, king to f8. And Paul Morphy also wants to activate his rook. Knight to d3, Thomas Wilson Barnes is attacking the bishop. But Paul Morphy said, who cares about the bishop? And then he played rook to e8. Sacrificing the bishop, and Thomas Wilson Barnes captures the bishop, knight takes on c5. And once again, can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? Well, Paul Morphy played a very obvious move, and he played queen takes on f1. But we have knight to e6, not capturing the queen. 
So if, of course, rook takes on f1, rook to e1, rook takes rook, d takes on e1, promoting a queen, and that's checkmate. Also, if you want, you can promote it, this pawn, to a rook at the same time. And it's still going to be a checkmate, so it doesn't matter. So after queen takes on f1, Thomas Wilson Barnes played knight to e6, that's check. And Paul Morphy captures the knight with the rook, rook takes on e6. And only now, Thomas Wilson Barnes resigned. So if bishop takes rook, then queen takes rook on d1, that's checkmate. And the other possibility is rook takes on f1, then rook to e1. Rook takes rook, d takes on e1 with promoting a queen. Or maybe rook, it doesn't matter, and that's checkmate. That's why, after Paul Morphy captures the knight with the rook, Thomas Wilson Barnes had enough, and he resigned. And what an amazing game by Paul Morphy. A wonderful educational chess game by Paul Morphy, once again, from 1858, London. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.